that, but he really is bearing down on him. Now, this is where we've seen the uh, Lotus Run cars really, really able to stay super close to cars in front of them. So they come around the back, he's in change for the lead. Disarni jumps to the inside. Your job, oh. they touch. Contact through Stowe. The race leaders take themselves off. And Nisani was almost through. He just interlocked wheels with Igor Yurutshov. I suspect Yurutshov's damaged his suspension. Nisani limps back onto the track. There is Yurutshov. And here comes Mathieu Vaxivier, who can't believe what he sees. Yurutshov definitely is ailing. But he moves across, covers the line. Dillman part of this as well as yeah, Yerudshov's race. Fear is run. He rejoins right in the path of Vaxivier, who takes last-ditch evasive action. Binder also is able to jink around. Now, Nisani would appear to be undamaged just at the moment. Yerudshov, oh, dear me, that car. I think he, he wants to keep going, but it looks as if maybe just one of the suspension wishbones could be slightly out of line. And now he does rejoin the track, having lost all that ground. Well, that, a huge talking point, Keith. And we'll, 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 I'm sure, see the incident in a moment's time. But suddenly, the race turns on its head. Oh, some lurid stuff from Orichev there. About three hide behind the sofa moments in the space of about 20 seconds. Um, but it certainly did look as though Nisani had a good run at him. But I'm very interested to see uh, a couple of replays of that one. And sure enough, once again, the stewards are investigating cars four and seven. Let's take a look at this again. So Yurudshov covers the inside line. Then... Gives the space to Nassani. Nassani jumps alongside now. Stowe tightens. That's why Nassani, relatively speaking, slows down. And they just maybe didn't quite give each other enough room. Uh, I'm not sure that Igor Yurichov was quite aware that Nassani was as far alongside as he was. But he would have no reason to, to say that he didn't know Nassani was there because he'd already tried to defend the corner uh, and then gone back towards the racing line. Um, so definitely uh, a collision that could have been avoided. But the surprising thing for me there was, I mean, they had, first of all, enough of a gap over the chasing cars to be able to stay ahead of them. 